All right, uh, tonight I've got a, a little um, uh, R3D, uh, like red, uh, carbon, uh, or actually it's R3D shifters. I don't know what the hell they're doing, but uh, red carbon, red shifters, R3D carbon, R3D shifters, whatever the hell you want to call them. They, uh, um, I, I saw someone do a review and thought it looked like a pretty interesting frame. It's a 3D printer, right? Um, now they haven't go, given the STLs or anything that I'm aware of, but uh, it mounts the camera in the front of this guy, uh, which I really like that that kind of low sleek uh, quad style. And um, so what I thought I'd do is I'd build a uh, uh, like a mini cinema whoop for flying around the basement, and uh, we're gonna do uh, kind of a fast pace style on this build. So I'm gonna try and finish it up in like half an hour. So uh, we'll see if that actually comes true or not um, my guess is not so we've got the uh, this is the diatone I haven't actually used this one it's the mamba uh, 16 by 16 stack uh, kind of an interesting uh, little stack uh, that I haven't used before um, but we've got geez there's no top they didn't give me a little top plate so I don't know what the pinouts are those motherfuckers. Anyway, most most of these have a little metal top plate that contains literally everything you ever wanted to know about the uh, ESC and uh, uh, flight controller stack. And uh, so we're going to do that and with that guy. And then we've got these 1103 8000 KV. And these have a T-mount, uh, which is um, not common among the 1103 uh, beta FPV and these also have the, the wonky little connector so I'm hoping hoping mind you that it reaches our flight controller board without too much trouble so and it looks like it probably will and uh, we'll get those guys mounted up in there and uh, with this you have this funky little cage in the rear right with some 2020 mounts well uh, I thought, gee, wouldn't it be awesome if we could get the Cadex in there? It's too big. It's just too big. Still too big. <laughs> but uh, they are working on a version that will fit the Cadex. But what it does fit is the Runcam split. Um, uh, or the split. Uh, it, it'll fit that too, but the Runcam hybrid. Uh, so this board fits underneath of here. Okay. Just like so and you uh, this camera fits in here as well so it'll just clear uh, everything uh, you got to kind of disassemble everything but you'll notice that the it does kind of interfere with your uh, props so you got to make sure your props aren't going to touch this board at all you just want to make sure that that area right there isn't going to touch uh, on either side of there um, but yeah this should be a fun little build and uh, so I'm not going to talk a whole lot as I go but you guys know how to do all this or at least you should after this long um, of watching me do this stuff so let's get our motors out and uh, I'm trying to decide if this is really the best way to do this or not probably it is so solder in the frame yeah that's gonna work he says confidently I may have to trim ever so slightly either side of this to get those screws back in the original position but I think we're okay uh, oh. these are rubber gummies for a flight controller board we're not going to be using we're going to be mounting a 16 by 16 stack in this so we don't actually need these rubber gummies I don't think So I'm going to pull them out so that I don't lose them in case I ever 
do anything else with this frame. All right. Yeah, uh, so this will hold like a 3S, um, like a 3S300 or a 3S350. So that'll be a fun little flyer once I get it all done. We got the uh, motors fitted. Uh, we are going to uh, wire up our flight controller or our ESC rather. Um, yeah, this guy has what's called a stack mount. I'm sorry, a, um, uh, can't think tonight, but there's pins between the flight controller and the ESC, and uh, it's not my favorite style. I prefer a wire between the two, but um, I think we're just going to run what we brung. So let me get this tinned up, and a stick vise will help. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do both sides, and then... We'll do the main wires. All right, so got the iron at about 400. and rolling. Let's see if we can do both sides without moving it. Clean the tip. That looks pretty good to me. Okay. Should be plenty. Okay. Make sure we know what we're doing. Positive and negative. Want the negative on this side. This side. Okay, good. Okay. Ow. Okay. Hopefully that XT60 survived. Maybe. Or XT30, I should say. These little rubber gummies down on top with a nut to hold everything in place while I finish up. Yeah, I, I'd never even heard of this company until some video popped up on my YouTube feed, and I was like, well, 
gee, that looks kind of interesting. It's a pretty light frame. And uh, kind of like the way it looks. And uh, yeah, so thought I'd give it a shot. Decided that this little diatone 16 by 16 stack would be a perfect little fit. I'm going to leave these almost full length. Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ, I'm going to burn myself. Okay. Grab it after all, flop it down. Get most of our schmutz off. We want to connect upside down. See how that looks from the top side. I've seen uglier. Whatever plastic this is, sure does stink when you melt it. So just beware. It's probably not good for you. I think it's carbon fiber and nylon. Look at that. That looks pretty good to me. Now, we gotta get the wiring diagram for this guy so that we can hook up our camera, our VTX and our receiver. So I'm just gonna use a little XM receiver for this. I don't need anything high power. We're not gonna use a, a crossfire for this. Because um, I'm planning on flying it around my basement. That's about it. I'll get some 4k footage off of it I might take it to a park. We'll see uh, But I don't expect a ton of you know A ton of issues with it falling out of the sky from a um, You know a simple um, Blip or sail face uh, sail uh, fail safe rather all right. Well, I'm gonna call it here then uh, you'll probably see a part two of this little guy where I blitz through it or I'll just merge it all together and run it through. So either way, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll probably do something with it. Thanks for watching.